Hi my dazzlers, welcome back. So this one is the Oshtomi look. I created a purple smoky eye look because I did a poll on my Instagram a couple of days back and wanted to know what color you would want me to use in my makeup video and most of you came up with purple, pink and a little bit of yellow. So that's what I did right here. I absolutely love it. It is bold, but at the same time, it's very, very wearable. Oshtomi te ek to glam look hole better hoy. That's why a glam look ta create kore chi. Ami ekta shop tomi look ko create kore chi. If you haven't seen it, the links right here. Do check it out. Oshtomi din ki ki khabe shita kintu comment section e bolte bhulo na. I'm a foodie myself. I love trying out eateries. So do let me know kotha ja var plan hoche in Kolkata. Do let me know where you guys are planning to go. Eat. By the way, I'm wearing a tube top. All right, so let's get started. I mostly like to prep my skin with the products that I love using. In case you're wondering and you're always asking me what cleanser do you use, what moisturizer do you use to prep your skin, so for cleanser, I use this Dermavive Hydro Cleanser. You guys know that I have sensitive skin and I have tried a lot of cleansers, but this is the one that I stick to. This does not irritate my skin and it does not dry out my skin. Also, it's free from SLS, soap, fragrance, parabens. So I love using this. Next product that I'm going to use is, you guys know I use this all the time. This is the Neutroderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. So I love using this. I just need a very tiny amount of it and I'm going to massage it gently on my skin. This is something that I enjoy using and it soothes and hydrates my skin. It just uh, feels like my skin is getting the right amount of hydration. It does not irritate my skin. So guys, if you don't like fragrance in your moisturizer, you can definitely go for this one. And look at what a beautiful glow it gives. Next product I'm gonna use is this Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. I love a beautiful glow to my skin and I just use two drops of it. Just gives a very pretty glow to the face. And in case if you don't have the For Sally Rose Gold Elixir, you can definitely use the Color Bar Perfect Selfie Primer. I love it, I use it all the time. That's all that I'm gonna use. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Forever 52 Spotless Glow Stick Foundation. I'm just going to apply it all over my face. And I'm gonna use the sponge to blend my foundation. This one is by Plume. This is their Celestial Sponge. I will link everything in the description box below. All right, the foundation's done and it looks amazing. I love how natural it looks. Next, I'm gonna do my brows and for my brows, I'm gonna take the Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer. I love using this because it's extremely easy to use. Since I'm gonna do a strong eye, I need a powerful brow, so I just filled in a little bit more than usual. I'm gonna conceal my under eye area next, and I'm gonna use the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. I love this concealer. Guys, comment on below what you guys are planning for Pujo. You got to be really, really careful. If you're going out, you gotta be safe. Guys, I said this in my previous video as well. Um, do carry a sanitizer, do carry masks. Um, in fact, carry extra uh, set of masks if possible. What happens if the mask that you're wearing just falls down? You'll still have the other mask handy. Next, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I'm just going to apply two drops. Drops? Just two dots. That's it. And then I'm gonna blend it really nicely. And you see how bright my under eye area already looks. The process of getting ready is so amazing. It's very satisfying. For my powder, guys, I'm gonna use the same K-Beauty HD Setting Loose Powder. This is in the shade Banana. And I absolutely love this setting powder. It just instantly gave a flawless finish. And now let's move on to the eyes. So I'm taking this pack Express Brush Cleaner and I'm going to clean my brush first. Then I'm taking this Huda Beauty Amethyst Palette and I'm gonna take this beautiful matte pink shade and I'm going to apply it in the crease of my eyes. I don't normally apply a concealer on top of my eyelids before going in with the eyeshadow. Um, that is because I don't really like the heavy feeling of the concealer on top of my eyelids. 
And just because I'm using a purple doesn't mean that I will do, uh, I have to do a very dramatic eye look. It can look natural as well. And I love doing natural eye looks. What I mean is wearable eye looks. A shade atto shundor. It's very pretty. It's very beautiful. Because it uh, um, specifically Durga Pujo look uh, Bangla to bolbo yami. Though you guys requested me to do a um, video in Bengali, but I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I video I mean, I mean, I video I mean, I so my crease is done and it looks very pretty. I love it. Next, taking this Tan Beauty This Is All I Need eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is also very, very pretty. It's got such beautiful shades. I'm going to take this purple shade right here. It's called Wild Love. Ooh, love the name. And I'm going to pick some with my eyeshadow brush. It's actually from Nykaa. This is a concealer brush and I'm using it as my eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pack it Wow, what a pigment. I'm going to pack it on top of my eyelids. I've got to be careful so that there are no fallouts. I'm using it very, very carefully. Whenever you're playing with dark eyeshadows, I would suggest you apply a layer of powder under your eyes so that even if there is a fallout, it can be removed easily. So instead of packing it, I'm swiping it. That way I'm getting a much better pigmentation. Now going back uh, with my Huda Beauty palette, I'm going to take this shade. This is a very pretty purpley shade. Guys, you don't have to use the exact same palettes. You can use colors which are similar. I'm going to pick some with my brush. I'm just going to apply it in the center of my eyelids. I'm going to wet the brush with this NYX Dewy Finish Makeup Setting Spray. Now I'm going to pick this shade and apply it. It gives a metal finish, like a foil finish. Wow. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow. I'm so glad you guys wanted me to do a purple look. I'm loving this eye look already. Now taking my blending brush, I'm just going to blend the crease area so that there are no harsh lines. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade. This is a little bronzy. So I'm going to apply it in my lower lash line. And now I'm going to remove the powder. There was no fallout, guys. I mean, the Huda Beauty just did a tiny amount, but no fallout with the Tan Beauty eyeshadow palette. So I'm taking this Forever 52 eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to take this um, yellowish golden shade, and I'm going to apply it in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to use the Sugar uh, Cool of Honor Intense Kajal, and I am going to line my eyes with it, and also my lower lash line. And now I'm going to smudge it. Also the upper lash line. This casual blends super easily. I'm going to apply a little bit of black on the outer corners of my eyes just to make this look a little bit more dramatic. So taking this Tan Beauty eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this black shade in here and just apply it in the outer corners. Not too much, just a little bit. Now I'm going to apply lashes. This is the Nykaa Lash Talk in Melodrama. And I'm gonna apply it and be right back. Okay, so guys, I'm back after applying false lashes. Now I'm going to bronze my face. For my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. I'm not going to contour my face. I'm just gonna bronze it. These days, I don't really like contouring. I love bronzing my face though. Um, key plans do let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know if you are going to visit any eatery in Kolkata. Maybe you'll spot me because I love going to eateries. Some of my favorite eateries are Marbella's. I also like Momo I Am. Love it. I love uh, the eateries in Southern Avenue. I absolutely love them. So there are chances that you might spot me there. For blush, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Blush Palette. This is the Blush Goddess Palette. Actually, I'll mix this one and this one, these two colors. So I'm gonna use the same brush. 
my god, it's so pretty. The color is really pretty. So for my highlighter, I'm going to use the K-Beauty highlighter and this is in the shade Rosy Dew. It's a very pretty pink shade. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. Also apply it a little bit on my collarbones and on my shoulders. I'm going to apply it on my brow bone area. The highlight is actually very subtle but you can build it. That's what I love about it. I'm going to apply the K-Beauty lip liner. This is in the shade Sensational. This one is a nude lip liner. Very pretty shade. I picked this one. This is from Revolution Pro. I will link it in the description box below. This one is a very pretty brown nude. It's very moisturizing. Okay guys, so this is my finished makeup look. I hope you liked it. And if you did, then do click on the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Till then, go forth and dazzle.